Hello all. We'll continue with the quiz two questions. Solving quiz quiz two questions. Okay. Continuing with the next questions. Mm. Okay. Question is given V W are vector subspaces of R N and both are orthogonal for every V uh, belonging to. Uh, capital V and small W belonging to capital W. Then, okay, V and W are both are orthogonal. Okay, so orthogonal vectors. So this is the. So what is orthogonal? Orthogonal is nothing but is perpendicular, right? Orthogonal is nothing but is perpendicular. Perpendicular means cos 90. Cos 90 is zero. Okay. Cos 90 is zero. Cos 90 means dot product of the dot product of the two orthogonal vertices is always zero. Okay. So V W C. Suppose this is V vector and this is W. Okay. V transpose is something. V transpose is also a column vector or a matrix vector which will have which will be orthogonal to the w vector okay only in 3d space it will have a different angle of orientation so a is the answer so v dot w is zero v dot w is zero and v transpose dot w is also zero only is a 3d alignment or 3d uh, angle of orientation is different okay so this is one of the properties v transpose w is equal to 0 so a is the answer <coughs> seventh question let v and w be the vector spaces of function t from function t from v to w is linear for every v1 v2 belong to v c1 c2 belonging to r then we have this is nothing but as we are applying function we are applying function t on the on the complete uh, system where we have two scalar quantities c1 and c2 acting on the two vectors v1 and v2 so this is nothing but a superposition principle right so superposition principle if the function is applied to a superposition principle principle then see if a vector space which vector space is defined only when it has a, it obeys the superposition principle right so when a function is applied on a complete system of the addition of two vectors okay then it can be applied individually on the individual vectors also so where can we find this so c1 when t goes inside so function will be applied on the vector 1 and function will be applied on the vector 2 and c1 and c2 are the simple scalar multiplication so d is the solution so this is nothing but as linear transformation uh, linear transformation theorem in matrices okay this is nothing but as linear transformation theorem in the matrices so d is the answer Eighth question. Let V dash be the orthogonal complement of V. Then V complement complement of V complement is C complement of orthogonal complement of V is equal to what? So what is the solution? Okay. Uh, uh, suppose we will consider this R uh, three region. Okay. R three, R three means there are three components, x, y, z. Okay, we will consider it as x, y, z. It can be usually gender, in general sense we say it as first component, second component, third component. Okay, uh, so uh, we will make a column here, V, and this is orthogonal complement. Suppose V has a V is equal to zero. Okay, suppose V is a null space, V is equal to null. then orthogonal complement will be the complete r3 region okay it's a orthogonal complement of zero okay suppose if v is equal to z axis suppose v is equal to z axis orthogonal complement will be completely xy plane okay 
ओके एक्स वाई प्लेन इफ वी इज इक्वल टू एक्स वाई प्लेन वी इज इक्वल टू एक्स वाई प्लेन देन वी ऑर्थोगोनल कॉम्प्लीमेंट विल बी जेड एक्सेस ओके एंड वी इज कंप्लीट आर थ्री प्लेन देन द ऑर्थोगोनल कॉम्प्लीमेंट विल बी जीरो इट विल बी नल ओके सी हियर द क्वेश्चन इज ऑर्थोगोनल कॉम्प्लीमेंट वी सो सम वेक्टर स्पेस वी इज गिवन ओके Uh, we'll suppose that V is something uh, belong. Uh, it has some R2 or R3 or Rn, Rn space. Okay. So orthogonal complement. Uh, so we'll first find out the internal uh, orthogonal complement. Okay. So orthogonal complement of R S to N is it will be zero, right? Null. See here the last one. So orthogonal complement of some vectors defined in the V will be equal to the null. But the question is the complement of the complement of orthogonal uh, or complement of the orthogonal complement of V. So I have got zero for this part. I have got zero inner part. So again I will I need to apply the orthogonal complement. So two times I am applying the orthogonal complement of uh, the given. So zero is again it is again. This is the, the this table is for only R three. Okay, it can have R four R five. And if it is R four, it will be again x y z plane and uh, one axis here. Okay, so it will change according to the plane R three, R two, R four, whatever it is. Okay, so here, so orthogonal complement of zero is again R n. So R n is nothing but as v, right? See, for v, we considered as it is of some R n, right? It has got some column vectors defined in some space. Okay, some R S to N space. It can be line space. It can be uh, three dimensional space, or it can be four dimensional space. Any space. Okay, I have considered some vectors under this. So this is if this is V, orthogonal complement of this is zero, and orthogonal complement of zero is again back to R S to N only. So that is V. C is the answer. Okay. So ninth question. If W is a subspace of V and U V are vectors in W. If W is a subspace of V and U V are vectors in W, okay. This is V, some R, V, and uh, W is a subspace. This is W, and U and V are vectors in uh, W, okay. U and V are vectors in W. Uh, in then, which of the following condition should hold good? U U plus V is in W. Means he is trying to check. See the scalar multiplication. Means the first question is about uh, superposition principle. That is linear combination, and this is scalar multiplication. This is homogeneity. So we are condition. We are checking the condition. So U plus if this is a vector space, if W is a subspace of a vector space V, then obviously U plus V is in W. Yes, this is true. First one is true. Any scalar k multiplication is in W. Fine. This is also condition of vector space. This is also true. Third one is W itself is a vector space under the addition and scalar multiplication defined uh, defined on V. W itself is a vector space, correct? Under the addition and scalar multiplication defined. Obviously, the first two operation what we did is the whatever whatever we did in first and two it is said in the third point. W itself is a vector space under the addition and scalar multiplication defined on U, correct? So one, two, three, all three are correct. okay thank you